Dr. Rod Way back again with another video. The content not going to stop on this channel, I promise you. I got so much love for this game right now, it's not even funny. I'm going to go ahead and give you some, some more gameplay. I think some people will probably enjoy the gameplay. And I'm going to go ahead and just knock down this entire uh, arena. I'm going to try to show you as much as I can. I'm going to try to knock it down quick down right quick at least get to six i can pretty much one shot these first guys so like one round them try to get in here quick y'all prefer to fast shit not the slow way so boom yeah these first couple levels they're not gonna be nothing then the fact this is a lot quicker because it's just next stage. We going boom, boom, boom. Just knock these out for you right quick. Give you a little bit of content. There's not even much to this. Uh, like I said in one of my previous videos, it's real easy to get these coins. Like I think some of the higher levels run into problems because a lot of high levels un unevenly level up their guys uh, for arena. So it kind of hurts you in a game modes like this. But... Let's see if I get that. Boom. That combo is so broken. Now, I could switch out Rini um, if I don't need the CC. I could, like, run Cyber, who I think does more damage, or Pyralis when I get them. It is tons of combinations that do more AoE damage than, than, than Rini, but it's the stun factor that I, that I like. And doing decent damage right now. Look, two people stunned for two two turns, that's huge. Especially if they stun damage dealers. So they're usually the ones that won't have the defense, the effective resistance. They're being smart, they would, but I'm talking about arena. This is about this. You know, fighting other people with builds is a lot different from fighting these guys. You, you pretty much, it's, it's not much strategy to this. Not as much, at least the same type of things apply. Like, stunning is very useful, I think. I thought that was gonna one shot. That's unfortunate. Just gonna finish him off. Not one shot, but finish him off. Okay, he let guy up. They're all pretty much dead. Okay. Knocking them down. I think this is the fourth one, third one, fourth one. I'm about to go into three minutes, doing them quick. This video is under 10 minutes. If I can finish it in under 10 minutes, that's my goal. I'm going to try to finish this in under 10 minutes. I'm going to try to go cool right quick. Speed. Under roll them. Oh, they have a very squishy team. All these dudes are pretty much squish. It's going to be easy. Please kill. Thank you. One more. He just buffed himself. Took a little bit of damage. You're dead. Boom. Next stage. Come on, bucko. Back to back. Ain't shit stopping. Quick, quick, quick. I was looking at some other YouTubers who can't co cover content. Uh, about Dragon Tamer, and it was just weird. Like watching other YouTubers do it, they're a lot more professional. Than I am, you know. I did order a Blue Yeti because I know my audio could be a whole lot better. I uh, consider it an investment. I do um, interviews with people about topics you're probably not interested in uh, as a as a little uh, side thing. So the Blue Yeti is for that, but I'm like shit. I can use it for this as well. Um, Two passions. Maybe I'll post some of my interviews on here. Some of you guys might care, especially if I start to get a few more views, a little bit of a buzz. Who knows? You know, it's a phone game, but you never know how many people you'll have watching your content one day. You know, maybe I'll do different games or whatever. But right now, we're on Dragon Tamers. Content not stopping for this one for sure. It's my only one. I'm usually a big console guy, but I haven't really 
only games on Xbox right now is trash. Maybe I should be on PlayStation. PlayStation has some great exclusives. Um, but quite frankly, since I started my adult job and I, I work for an insurance company, and uh, since I've been working for them, they, they work me pretty hard. So I don't really have a lot of too much free time to uh, do a lot of other stuff. But, you know, playing up video games is low maintenance, doesn't really take too much. I upload these videos so fast, like, it's not even a problem. I can, I don't do much editing, and I'm not trying to go cool with the editing and stuff like that, so it's not really much, much to it. So I'm able to do quite a bit. I will try to be a little bit more professional, try to come up with some easy thumbnails, stuff like that, a better audio. I might get a better capture card, you know. Just running this shit down. I don't want him to heal. He's gonna give him a nasty shield. It was either or. Bigus, he puts that immunity on people. I don't know. Like I can't even stun that dude anymore. And and, and that's kind of powerful against my specific team. Bigus is probably gonna be my kryptonite. Goose, barnacle goose. I do have a uh, bee goose, but I haven't found a reason to put him on my team. He's like one of those situational floating characters. Maybe one day. I do plan on doing several different combinations. Ain't nobody ever gonna be able to catch me lacking. Like I think in game, I'm gonna be able to shit on anybody if I get to that point. You know, like, there's some wallet warriors out there, don't get me wrong. I'm not, I'm not talking about those guys. I won't be anybody that's a wallet warrior. You know, you throw 300 bucks at the game or more, I'm not about to beat you because I'm not going to put more than $100 into this game probably. So, you know, the most I'll do at this point is I'll buy the, the ticket. You know, I'll buy the ticket and I'll buy the dragon packs every month or so that's like 30 bucks a month you know over time maybe it does add up to 300 if i'm playing for that long but no way am i dropping you know 30 bucks a month is you know less right now it's actually about the same amount as my electric bill so it's like okay whatever 30 bucks it's about my electric bill i'm not too concerned about that I have $30 of expendable income, but the people that drop, I don't fucking know, thousands of dollars on these phone games, I just don't get it. Like, it's one thing if you're a YouTuber and most of your money, you know, is given to you by the community, but big time YouTuber, but your own hard earned cash and even the YouTubers hard earned cash, I don't know. I probably wouldn't put all the money into it. I ain't gonna lie to you people. I might put maybe 50% into it, but then, shit, I'd rather put that money, start saving that money up, down payment on something, car, fucking better than that, a house, investment, stock, anything, shit. Uh, that's, uh, you know, it's an enjoyment factor out of this, but I get enjoyment for other things, and it can actually, the money can work for me. That's my little rant on that. I'm probably almost in. I don't know which one I'm on. We are at nine minutes basically right now. We cruising. I'm talking about we cruise. Almost done with it. I'm pretty sure this is getting to be one of the last ones. Cause there, I'm getting up to forty at this point. Nick and Rini still the dynamic duo at the beginning, I'm like melting them. We gonna get Rini out first. Cause I'm not fucking. We no. I'm not fucking. I want to use this ability. Yeah, perfect. Okay, He's out. I want to get him out. I could have went for somebody else, but whatever. He's going to get a lot of health back from that. Whatever. Uh, I shouldn't have hit him on tweet. Um, let's stun Hades. Oh, he's about to die. And it was a crit. I knew it. Hey, he's going to get stunned. Thank you. Uh, I don't know if this is the last one, so I'm just going to heal. Get those guys back up. Having a healer in this mode really does help. I should have probably mentioned that in the beginning. Uh, 
I'll just get him up. I don't have to worry about it. Getting him up later. You'll heal somebody else. Boom. Healing is really good in this mode. Shit, you might. I have two healers. Shit. I wish a few of the healers had like maybe like one big heal ability and then two damage. I don't know if there's anybody like that. Maybe one of the ones that aren't breedable legendaries. Like I think Dark Star has healing. I know his healing comes with crit as well. Now Inky, this guy right here, he does a f increases their the team's effective resistance. That that actually might be legit situational uh, situational guy, but kind of legit in a way. I will use this ability. I haven't been using it that much time, so I, I can get him to focus on one guy. Let's just top everybody off. Kind of an overheal, but I do get the defense with it. He does the same thing. Damn, that was a lot. Holy fuck. Let's try to... We're at 11 minutes. Um, I'm pretty sure this is getting close to the end, so we can keep it rolling. Give you guys a little bit. This is bonus time. Encore. Bonus time. I could have healed a Rita, but, but whatever. Okay, now, okay, they're doing a, a little bit too much damage to uh, Reba. Leave him alone. He he's, not, he's not even a damage dealer. Like, leave him alone. Alright. Damn, they're bullying him. Like, why are you bullying my, my mans? You need to help your own mans. That's why I ain't got no friends. I feel like I can shit on him. His defense is kind of good compared to some other damage dealers, but I kind of melted him pretty hard. I focused him down. Fog down on that man. Stun. Nope. Black the shop should kill. Boom. And now we're done. I did it in 12 minutes and 26, 27, 28 seconds. And watching me do that probably made you a better dragon tamer. Watch out. You a master out here. Master. See you in the next video.